Hello, YouTubers, friends, compatriots, who are yourselves, desolate, service, peasants, vassals, minions, banker scum. I'm a useful idiot. Welcome. And uh, let's go back to the U.S. and we'll talk more about central banks and banker scum. And uh, I'm, I'm, I'm hoping that Americans are paying more attention to banker scum again. You know, there's a lot of things going on on the international front, but uh, it's important because uh, when our backs are turned and there's all kinds of international uh, things to worry about, and lots of trumped up fake scandals in the news. Uh, this is when the bankers, uh, bankers come, uh, sneak around in the, in the shadows and uh, do their dirty work. And uh, so what we have now uh, is a culmination. And this will, this will be a nice follow up to my uh, video about uh, central banks and their global circle jerk. Because now we have the uh, Federal Reserve has just finished these uh, newest round of bogus stress tests. And, uh, this is a huge culmination of what the banks have been after for uh, five, six, seven years now uh, since the financial collapse of 2007-2008 uh, and, uh, and all the bailouts. So, of course, all these banks have had their, their dividend uh, programs uh, restricted and uh, until they can prove that they can weather, weather the storm. So now they've spent uh, these last uh, five, six years uh, fighting every single attempt to uh, to uh, restructure the uh, financial system. They've uh, uh, resisted and lobbied against every single uh, piece of legislation. They've completely gutted uh, Dodd-Frank. Uh, they've pushed off uh, most of the requirements that they haven't been able to get rid of yet. Uh, they pushed them off to another day, so they haven't really had to change anything. And that's why now uh, not only do they have to not change anything, but of course they're bigger than ever. They're more dangerous than ever. They have more leverage than ever. They have uh, more derivatives and um, just uh, an accident waiting to happen. And it doesn't matter that uh, these stress tests uh, say that uh, 29 of the top 31 U.S. lenders got an okay in uh, two uh, domestic branches of foreign banks, Deutsche Bank and Santander, uh, didn't pass. And uh, Bank of America got a warning. We, we've known they've been on shaky ground for for all these years. But uh, this doesn't mean anything to us, but this means everything to the handlers, the elites, and the bankers, all the ones that have been uh, thriving uh, during this economic collapse while the, the uh, middle class and the working class in Europe and America and nearly everywhere else is uh, paying for it. So uh, uh, our economy is being destroyed in order to save the economy of the elites and uh, fatten, that up, fatten them up. And uh, so we, we have an orgy on Wall Street today. In fact, apparently it, it was within a few minutes of the Federal Reserve announcing that these stress tests passed, that all the banks uh, not only lined up to uh, pay out uh, large dividends, but uh, they're also uh, getting back into the buyback frenzy. So here we have all of corporate America involved in this buyback frenzy where they, they borrow money, they issue debt, and then, uh, and then they use that to buy their own stock back. And interestingly, an interesting part of this, too, is the fact that, of course, the, uh, the market is completely overvalued right now. Uh, it's completely artificially blown up to where it is now. And yet these, uh, these banks and all these corporations you know, are buying these stocks at the height of the market. So that tells you how much uh, these buybacks have a huge attraction for them. So they're not lending money. They're not invigorating the economy. They're just buying back their own stocks, driving up their own stock prices, fattening up their bonus programs, and fattening up their executive packages. And, and in fact, uh, uh, bonuses this year at Wall Street averaged $173,000. And um, that's the average. And uh, so for all the employees on Wall Street, that's the average uh, bonus. And that's in spite of the fact that a lot of these banks have, have had uh, less than stellar performance uh, recently. And over the last few years, and uh, yet they get these bonuses anyway. But you know, I, I realize that the, their pay bonus structure is a little tricky, and a lot of the, a lot of their their pay does come from their bonus. But that said, uh, it's not like uh, they've been suffering too much. They just managed to change the rules on how they pay bonuses. They've still been paying massive bonuses uh, to all these people. They just figure out uh, another way to put it on the books. So uh, anyway, so let's get to some of these uh, banks. We have. Uh, Citigroup, which uh, flunked the Fed stress test last year, is going to boost its quarterly dividend to 25%. They're going to buy $7.8 billion back in stock. 
JP Morgan's going to raise their quarterly dividend to 10 percent, and they're going to uh, buy back 6.4 billion dollars in stock. Morgan Stanley will increase its dividend by 50 percent and buy back up to three billion dollars in shares. Well, Fargo said it plans to raise the quarterly dividend 7 percent, and uh, State Street said it plans to boost quarterly dividends to 13 percent and buy up to 1.8 billion dollars in stock. And uh, even with Bank of America uh, only getting a, a slight pass, they're still uh, going to buy, uh, do a buyback of four billion dollars in stock. So, uh, so here we go. Um, it's just a, a, a disgusting process. So now we have all the banks uh, essentially having an orgy today, uh, payouts to all their shareholders who have had to uh, take a lot fewer dividends over the last five years. So now they're going to push back to normal where you're going to find 50 and 60 percent of these bank profits going out to these shareholders and the elites. So once again the, the recovery will not be for uh, the working class or the middle class. Um, it's going to be for the same people that have been having all this wealth transferred to them anyway. And this whole process once again will keep uh, juking the, uh, the stock market. and These stock prices will continue to go up artificially and, uh, and this, this cycle will continue. So essentially, once again, the Federal Reserve is showing that it is, a, it is not apolitical. Uh, their arguments about not being audited are uh, empty because they are uh, extremely political. And right now, they are serving the, the elite class and they're serving the bankers. And this, this new round of uh, bogus stress tests with everyone passing, uh, even though uh, we're still uh, uh, having a castle built on sand as far as our financial system. They're still hu hugely leveraged and still have all these massive risks. And uh, everyone's been talking about it. Everyone except for the Fed. But that's all right. They think everything's fixed now. And um, so they, they can uh, let the banks completely go now. So now uh, everything's almost back to normal for the banks. And, uh, and uh, it's too bad they could have been, been making a lot more money these last five years if they hadn't been paying out hundreds of billions of dollars in fines or uh, uh, endless and repetitive criminal acts. But uh, it all paid off now because here's the big money shot today. Federal Reserve, all the banks passed the stress test, back to dividends and buy back city. Up, up, up goes the stock market. I'm a useful idiot. Don't you be one too.